So you made this great image and you took your time, you made a really nice pattern in Canva, and now you want to put it onto some products, say at Zazzle, or you want to upload it over at Redbubble or wherever you're selling your designs and you want to download it and do that. One of the problems with this is that if you're using Canva, and this doesn't matter if you're using Canva free or Canva pro, when you download this image as a PNG file or a JPEG, it's going to download it at a lower DPI, about 96 DPI. And in order to have really good print quality, you want to have that up higher at around 300, and that'll give you a better print quality. So let's see what happens. We're going to take this um, pattern that I made and I'm going to download it. And you can see I've practiced this before. And when I open that pattern up, this is about 100% of my pattern right here. And you can see, and if I scroll, get any bigger, you're going to see that it's really pixelated. It's not really a good quality at all. So there are a couple of things that you can do to solve this problem. And by the way, I am using Canva free just to show you how this works. The first thing you can do to solve this problem is you can start by making this image bigger to start with. Uh, so I took my image and I copied and pasted it over to a 3600 by 3600 square. So when I download this one, give it a second to download. And I look at this one. Now if I zoom this one in, I'll zoom this one up to 100, 102. Let's go to my downloads and look at that other one I downloaded, the 1800. I zoom this one into 104. So already you can see it's a bigger picture, bigger. So that will be one thing you can do. This doesn't solve the problem though of the DPI. It's still only 96 dots per inch, which really is not the greatest quality for printing. So what can we do to fix that? So that so your first tip is resizing it to a larger size. The second tip is going to be downloading it in a PDF. All right, so we're going to go back to my 1800 pixel one, because let's say you want it this size for whatever reason. All right, I'm going to download this not as a PNG, but as PDF print, not PDF standard, PDF print. And you'll see I can do this. I'm in free Canva free and it's not limiting me. PDF print and I'm going to hit download. Of course, if you've been following along, you know that that isn't really going to be helpful for me. This is my pattern. Here it is. It's really nice. I can zoom it in. I can zoom way in. I can go up to, what am I at? 200, 300% now, and it's still super nice pattern. But the problem is I can't upload this to Zazzle or Redbubble. It needs to be an image file. So what do I do with this PDF? I've got your answer. And your second tip is go to a website called pdf to jpeg.me pdf to jpeg.me and we're going to convert it this is free you don't have to pay for it so advertisements anything weird happening here so we're going to click upload a file and i'm going to grab that pdf file and don't worry about specifying the range because it's just one page but uh you'll see down here when you start this page it might be on this fixed image width we want the one that says fixed dpi and we want this to be 300 that's our amount we'll leave this blank and we're going to hit this button that says convert now wait a few seconds tick tock tick tock these other buttons will just take you to other websites that do similar things. All right, here it is, it's successfully downloaded. So we're gonna download it now. Now I have my downloads, there it is. PDF to JPEG, that's my document. Now this one, when I zoom in, I can go all the way up now, look at my 100% is much better on this one. Now this was my 1800 pixel one, remember? So here's my original 1800 pixel one and I can only go up about that high before it gets really ugly. So now when I go over to Zazzle, let's say I want to add my image. Let's say I just want to add that original 1800. Let's look at the difference. Here's the original 1800 one that I made. That's it right there. Now, if I'm going to tile this, it's going to be fine. And it's on a mug, right? But let's say that I want to upload it on something bigger. Uh, let's say I want to upload it on a throw pillow, um, a 20 by 20 throw pillow. So a nice big throw pillow for outside, right? So I'm going to add my image. Oops. I'm going to grab that teal pattern. I'm going to put it in here. It's not big enough. And if I try to fill it, 
it's going to be oversized. So the best that I can do, you see that yellow thing, it tells me it's too big. The best that I can do is tile it. But again, we still have our image quality problem. So what happens if we upload that new one that we made, this PDF? So it's still 1800 pixels, but now it's 300 dots per inch. Now it's much bigger. And I can actually make this even bigger because now it's a bigger and a better quality image I have going on with my uh, higher DPI. Same thing with Redbubble. If I go over to Redbubble and I upload that small teal pattern, I'm going to have a similar problem. It's, it's fine on something small, but when I get to something like a pillow, I either have to tile it or I have to, it's going to be too big. Cause if I try to make this bigger, it's already telling me it's at a hundred percent. The best I can do is make it smaller. I don't want to make it smaller. I want to make it bigger. It's even worse on things like shower curtains or things like that. All right. So let's review really quick. First tip is to make the size bigger. That's going to be your first probably the easiest if you don't want to go through the process of converting it. The second one is to download it as a PDF print and go over to a website called pdf to jpeg.me and convert that to a 300 DPI JPEG and then upload that one to use instead. All right, super easy tips. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe I'll make more.